Now, itong question na ito, marami sa inyo ang naguluhan. Um, nagulat din ako and that is the reason why I posted the full video lesson on this. Kung hindi nyo napapanood yung aking bagong video ng turning decimals into fractions, nakalink din siya sa description or sa comment nitong video na ito para makahabol kayo. Pero itong question na ito muna ang discuss ko. Sabi dito, what is 3.72 in fraction form? Now, again, ang gagawin lang natin dito, kailangan yan sa exam. Kung merong whole number, di ba, kasi simula tayo sa 3.72, May whole number tayo. Ang whole number natin is 3. Ibig sabihin, isusubi ko na yan, tatabi ko na yan. Yan na agad yung whole number doon sa um, fraction form natin. Tapos, ang iintindin ko na lang yung 72. So, 0.72 yan. So, ang gagawin ko, first step, gawin ko siyang numerator. Lalagyan ko ng 1 sa ilalim. At kung ilan yung decimal places, yun ang 0. So, you have 1, 2. Dalawang decimal places, dalawang 0. So, 3 and 72 over 100. Kaya lang, Gusto ko siya i-lowest terms dahil hindi pa siya naka-lowest terms. Pwede pa siya sa na-divide. So, pwede ko siya i-divide pareho sa 2. Magiging 36 over 50. Pwede pa uli sa 2. Pwede kasi isa-isa. This will be 18 over 25. Okay? And since wala na akong magagawa dyan, hindi na sila parehong uh, even, hindi rin sila parehong divisible sa 3, yun na yung pwede kong magiging sagot. 3 and 18 over 25. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kadali. If you know what to look for, if you know what to do and where to start, ang math can be really easy. So, I hope makatulong to sa inyo. And the next time that I post a question like this on Instagram, I hope to see you there and I hope isa ka sa mga magiging tama ang sagot. And more than sa Instagram, hopefully sa exam that you're going to take, whether civil service yan, UPCAT, LAE, PhilSAT, or any of those. Now, this video in particular has a paired lesson. I will link it here din sa post na ito. I taught you how to convert decimals into fractions. And, um, yun. So, marami naman ang tumama, pero marami pa rin ang nagkamali. So, sabi ko, sige, gagawa mo na rin ako ng, ng explainer for this just to make sure that you get this squared away before the actual exam. Now, sabi natin, uh, dito sa question na ito, what is 12.34 in fraction form? Um, nag Honestly, hindi ako nagulat. na most of you answered either A or B kasi hindi maingat. Hindi naging maingat sa pag-intindi ng tanong. Pero kung maintindihan nyo ng maigi yan, you would see na yung 12 na yan, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, is already a whole number. So, 12 na dapat, buo na dapat yan. At kung gagawin kong 1234 divided by or over 10,000, sobrang layo niyan, ilang decimal yan. At naman 1, 2, 3, 1 point, 1 point something lang yan. So, kulang. Okay? Now, kung ito ay naging 1,234 uh, over 100, pwede pa. Now, bakit? Kasi dalawa lang naman yung decimal place na nandun. Ito, pwede pa. Kaya lang, again, improper fraction ito, kasi mas mataas yung nasa uh, taas. Okay, mas malaki yung number na nasa taas or yung ating numerator. So, still, i-convert mo pa rin siya. Now, ano ang tamang sagot? Sabi natin, di ba, pag ganito yung, yung binigay, so you have 1, 2.34, isa-set aside na agad natin yung whole number. So, nandun na agad sa final answer, 12. And then, ang gagawin lang natin is 34. Di ba, yung point, point 34, siya yung magiging numerator. At dahil kailangan mo igalaw yung decimal place ng dalawang beses para mabuo siya or maging buo number siya. 1, 2. Ang gagawin natin na nasa ilalim niya is 1 and then dalawang 0. So, 34 over 100. 
Kaya lang, kaya wala siya dito sa options kasi iso smallest terms ko pa siya. Pwede ko pa siya i-divide pareho sa 2. Okay? So, 34 divided by 2 would give me 17. And then, 100 divided by 2 will give me 50. Now, at this point, wala na silang common na factor. So, ang sagot ko na magiging 12 and 17 over 50. Which is letter D. This is actually a fraction question per word problem siya. And that is the reason I feel kung bakit marami sa inyong nagkamali. Sabi sa tanong, Andy ate half the pie and Molly ate, ate a third of what was left. How much of the pie was left for Bonnie? Okay, so um, a little bit of a side note. Yes, characters po sa Toy Story 4 yung aking mga ginamit. It's just a way for me to kind of get you interested din dun sa topic. Okay. Now, ang common mistake dito I feel is that people basically just added. So, ginawa nila one half plus and then one third. Okay, tapos minus lang nila ito sa one. So, basically one minus the quantity one half plus one third. And if you do this, ang magiging sagot dyan would be one minus and then ito i LCD mo siya. So, six. This will be three over six. Tapos ito ay two over six. So, ang magiging sagot dyan would be, uh, kasi ito magiging 6 over 6 minus, and then you have 5 over 6. The answer is 1 over 6. And a bunch of you actually answered that. Now, the question is, tama ba yan o mali? Now, mali yan. Bakit siya mali? Kasi, kung iintindihin mong maigi yung tanong, ang nakalagay is that Andy ate half the pie, and then Molly ate a third of what was left. Sa Tagalog, si Molly kinain niya yung one third ng natitira. So, ibig sabihin yung one-third na to is not one-third of the whole pie. It's one-third of kung ano na lang yung natitira. So, kung drawing ko yung pie, okay, kunyari lang ha, kinain ni Andy yung kalahate, so wala na yan, kalahati na lang, tapos kinain pa ni Molly yung one-third nung natitira, which is just this part. So, hahatiin mo to ngayon sa tatlo, kinain niya yung one-third nito. So, itong part lang na ito ang nawawala. Okay? Hindi one-third ng buong pa yung kinain ni Molly. Ang kinain niya ay one-third ng kalahate. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang equation nito actually looks like this. One minus, and then you have one-half, okay? Plus, and you're going to take one-third of one-half, kasi one-half na lang yung natitira dun sa pa dahil yun na lang yung natitira sa kinain ni Andy. So, ang magiging sagot dito would be 1 minus, and then you have your 1 half, plus, ano ba ang 1 third ng 1 half? I-multiply mo lang siya. Ngayon, dahil ito ay multiplication, tapat-tapat lang yan. So, magyayari 1 times 1 is 1 over, and then 3 times 2 which is 6. So, 1 minus 1 half plus 1, 6. So, again, 3 over 6 plus 1 over 6. This is actually 4 over 6. So, 1 minus 4 over 6, or 6 over 6 minus 4 over 6. This is 2 over 6 or 1 third. So, ang tamang sagot is letter D. Okay? So, again, intinding maigi yung tanong. Anong ma advice ko sa inyo? Pagdating sa mga word problems sa exam, tagalugin ang tanong para maintindihan yung maigi. Okay? Don't just get the numbers. Kasi feeling ko yung iba, ang ginawa nila, ah, okay, half, so that is one half, 
Uh, one third, a third. So, one third. Hindi na nila inintindi kung one third na yan ay one third ng pi o one third of what was left. Ito yung mga klase ng tanong na maraming nabibiktima sa exam. So, whether you're taking your civil service exam, upkat, laif, filsat, make sure that you really understand the question before you even start to solve. Kasi kung nakikita ninyo, kahit naintindihan nyo yung konsepto, yung fundamentals ng math, kung mali ang given ninyo, mali ang equation ninyo, hindi nyo pa rin siya maitatama. Sabi, Coco drank a tenth of a cup of milk at breakfast. Then he drank two-thirds of a cup at lunch and half a cup at dinner. If he was supposed to finish two cups in a day, how much more does he have to drink? Alright, so let's solve this. No? It's a fraction problem, pero kailangan ng konting analysis. Now, sabi, ito daw mga to, yan yung mga ininom niya sa loob ng isang araw. So, ilabel ko lang para lang mas malinaw. Ito yung mga nainom niya. Meron daw siyang one-tenth of a cup. So, one over ten. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng a tenth. Tapos, meron siyang two-thirds of a cup. Yan, ito yon And then, meron siyang half a cup at dinner. So, one half. Okay? Now, ang kailangan niyang magnyari, kailangan maubos niya yung two cups. Okay? Now, abang lang natin yan. Now, the first thing, again, yung nainom niya, i-add natin yan ngayon. Now, in order to do that, ang gagawin lang natin, hanapin muna natin yung LCD. Ng 10, 3 at 2. Okay? So, ano to? Least common multiple or LCM. May, may series ako ng fractions on YouTube. So, if hindi nyo pa napapanood yun, I talked about everything mula sa factoring, lowest terms, LCM or LCD, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, all of the rules. Watch those na lang on YouTube. The link will also be in the description of this video. Okay? Now, ang LCD niyan would be 30. That's the, the number na divisible sila lahat. Kasi ko convert ko lang lahat or itatransform ko lahat. So, 30, gagawin ko lang, 30 divided by 10 times 1. So, that would give me 3. Tapos, ang next would be 30 divided by 3 times 2. So, that would be 10 times 2 or 20. And then, yung susunod would be 30 divided by 2 which is 15 times 1. So, meron ka uling 15. At ngayon na pare-pareho na sila ng last name or pare-pareho na sila ng LCD eh ng, ng denominator, pwede mo na silang i-add. So 20 plus 15 is 35 plus 3. That is 38 over 30. Okay? Or kung gusto ko siyang gawing mixed number, ang gagawin ko lang, babawas ko yung 30 sa 38. 38 minus 30. That would give me 1, isang buo, isang 30 at 8 over 30 or 4 over 15. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung ang kailangan niya inumin ay 2 cups, all I have to do is, para malaman ko kung ilan pa yung kailangan niyang inumin, ibabawas ko ngayon dito yung 1 and 4 over 15. Okay? Yun na lang yung kailangan kong gawin para ma mapuno yung 2 cups. Now, again, you can do this in two ways. Pwede yun yung gawin na i-convert mo siya pareho into a fraction. So, pwede mong gawin na yung 2 magiging 60 over uh, magiging 30 pala 30 over 15 okay minus and then yung 15 times 1 15 plus 4 19 over 15 pwede nyo gawin ganyan or what I do na lang basically is tatanggalin ko agad yung 1 so 1 na lang 1 minus 4 over 15 kasi mas madali na lang yun i-manage that way again ang ginawa ko lang yung whole number tinanggal ko na agad para mabawasan yung iniisip ko now, ang 1 is just 15 over 15. Ma-minus ko lang yung 4. 
So the answer is letter D, 11 over 15. Okay, of a cup. So, yun yung tamang sagot. Now, again, marami nagkamali, but I hope f- sa susunod ko na ipopost na video on this topic, on fractions and word problems, um, tama na kayo. So, if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Laika Maravilla for more quick questions. Sana by then, tama na kayo. And if you want me to make more explainers like this on, on Facebook, don't forget to like this video and share this with your friends para matulungan din natin sila. Okay? So, as you always say, this is a team. Never stop learning. Adja, adja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.